How's it going everyone? My name is Darknomicon and I have another Fallout 4 build for you today. This is the Sentinel, the second highest ranking officer of the Brotherhood of Steel and the right hand of Elder Arthur Maximum himself. This loyal soldier of steel heeds the call to cleanse the world of super mutants, ghouls, and especially synths. If you are a fan of energy weapons and power armor, this build is for you. I would like to point out that there are navigation links in the description for you to fast travel to certain parts of the video for your viewing pleasure. Alright soldiers, let's learn how to become brothers and sisters of the Brotherhood. At the beginning of the game, the Sentinel will be starting with 9 Strength, 4 Perception, 9 Endurance, 1 Charisma, 3 Intelligence, 1 Agility, and lastly, 1 Luck. Once you make it out of the Vault and into Sanctuary Hills, run and grab the Special Book in Sean's room and apply the free Special Point into Intelligence, bringing it from 3 to 4. Once you are done exploring Sanctuary Hills, it's time for you to discover what has happened since your time in the Vault. You will meet a few groups along your a horrendous journey through the waste, and out of all of them, you find that the Brotherhood of Steel is a secure and surefire way of finding Sean. When it comes to the Nuka World DLC, you will want to destroy the Raider Gangs. Better to cut the head off the snake than watch it wreak havoc on the Commonwealth in the potential future. Alright, let's go over the perks that will benefit the Sentinel and make him more of a badass. In the Strength section, you will go for all four of Armor, which allows you to craft level four armor mods, grab all five of Heavy Gunner, which improves hip fire accuracy, chance to stagger, and does double the damage. Get all five of strong back, which gives you plus 50 to carry weight. You're able to run and fast travel while over encumbered, and running while over encumbered takes 50% less AP. Grab all three of steady aim, which increases accuracy and damage while hip firing with any weapon, and then all three of pain train, which causes you to bash through enemies while sprinting in power armor, doing massive damage to them. In the perception perk section, you will go for both awareness, which allows you to view a target's specs while in vats, and you do 5% more damage while using vats. Next, we have all 3 out of 4 of locksmith, which allows you to pick master locks. Over in the endurance perk section, you will go for all 5 of toughness, which grants you plus 50 more damage resistance, all 3 of life giver, which gives you plus 60 to maximum health, and you slowly regenerate health over time, all 4 of rad resistance, which gives, which gives you plus 40 to rad resistance, all three of adamantine skeleton, which completely eliminates limb damage on self, and all three of solar powered, which you gain plus two strength and endurance during the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., and sunlight slowly heals radiation damage and lost health. Next, in the charisma perk section, you will go for all three of cap collector, which um, buying and selling to vendors is much better, and you can invest 500 caps to raise a store's bounty capacity. Over in the intelligence perk section, you will go for all four of Medic, which makes impacts and right away restore all lost health and radiation and works more quickly. All four of Gun Nut, which allows you to craft level four weapon mods. Three out of four of Hacker, able to hack master level terminals. And all three of Nuclear Physicist. Fusion cores last twice as long and you can inject them out of your power armor to create a nuka grenade explosion. In the Agility perk section, you will go for all five of Gunslinger, which makes non-automatic pistols do double damage and have a better chance of disarming foes and may even cripple them. And all five of Commando, automatic weapons do double damage and have a greater chance to stagger opponents. And lastly, in the Luck perk section, you will go for all four of Fortune Finder. You are able to find way more caps and containers, and there's a chance that enemies explode in a fountain of caps. All four of Scrounger, you find even more ammo and containers. And lastly, all four of Bloody Mess. Now inflict 15% more damage to enemies, which have a chance of exploding on death, and also a chance of causing any enemies next to the exploding one to suffer the same fate. I know that was a lot to process, but please bear with me. Now, time to go over the gear that will inspire your allies and fear your foes. Starting from the top, we have the Visionaries T60 helmet with increased AP refresh speed. Both of the Tesla T60 power arms from the Mechanist DLC, which gives increased energy weapon damage. On the torso, we have the Exemplar's T60 torso, which gives reduced AP cost in bats by 10%. On the legs, we have Honor, increased AP refresh speed, and Vengeance, which reflects 10% of melee damage back to our attackers. As for what's under the armor, <laughs> you have a dirty mind. A Brotherhood of Steel combat helmet, all heavy Brotherhood of Steel combat armor, you know, arms, legs, etc. And underneath that, a Brotherhood of Steel uniform. It doesn't matter the color, just go ahead and pick one. And lastly, we have the weapons the Sentinel uses to abolish the abominations from the Commonwealth. We have the Righteous Authority, Sentinel's Plasma Caster, and the Gatling Laser. Alright, now we're going to move on to followers. 
Since the Sentinel isn't a very charismatic individual, he won't be able to convince Paladin Dance to not go through with his termination, sadly. But that's okay. Since Codsworth ended up staying behind after the bombs fell, I highly recommend that after you have completed, or even during the Mechanist DLC, you heavily mod Codsworth to be an abomination killing machine. Now, with all that being said and done, we come to the end game special stats, which will be 10 Strength, 5 Perception, 10 Endurance, 2 Charisma, 10 Intelligence, 2 agility, and 3 luck. And all of that is including all the bobbleheads and of course the special book from the beginning. And that brings us to the end of the build, brothers and sisters. You have all climbed the ranks of Sentinel and shall carry out the highest of orders given to you by your elders. If you enjoyed today's Fallout 4 character build and enjoy the content that I make on this channel, please feel free to batch that subscribe button and critically hit that little bell icon to be notified when a new video goes live. If you have friends or family who enjoy Fallout or Elder Scrolls character builds, please introduce them to my channel, that way I can reach more fans of either community. Thanks again for watching all the way through if you did, and I will see you in the next video. Ad Victorium.